Key Wagon with Kyle, the hey. owner, and this is going to be very, very different from pretty much all the cars I usually drive because, well, A, it's older than I am. It's older than both of us. <laughs> yeah. um, it's an old G-Wagon. They actually didn't even sell this in America initially. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So, first off, how long have you had this thing? How, you just got it recently, um, right? Yeah, I got it in, I think, July. July, okay. Yes. What made you get this? Um, basically, it was an opportunity we couldn't pass up. Okay. Um, we've never seen any other, you know, pre night or whenever they came into America, a G-Wagon. Yeah, I think 02 was the first year they actually came here. Yeah, so we had never seen them before, and my dad um, was friends with the old owner. Met him at a FedEx store, and she would daily drive it to work. What? <laughs> so... So you guys were like, yep, we're going to take it. Yeah, they decided to put it for sale because they were, I think, moving away and didn't want to take it with them. Okay. And we jumped on the opportunity and they said, you know, as long as, or if we're selling it, we're going to contact you guys first because we know you want it. Okay. So that's kind of the homie, homie hookup right there. Do you mind saying how much it is? Um, no, it was, uh, I think about 3500 3500 for a G-Wagon. <laughs> I like that sign says, please slow down a neighborhood. We can't oh, go, yeah. we can't go fast, really. That's to the floor. <laughs> That's flooring it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you were saying earlier on the road, is like, yeah, what up, follow you? Pretty much flooring it everywhere. Yes. Um, uh, okay, so 3500 so we could say this is the cheapest Mercedes G-Wagon. Oh, yeah. In the country. Not clickbait. You can Not clickbait. Not clickbait, yeah. It is, it is true. Probably. Uh, what is it like to own the cheapest G-Wagon in the country? 83, but it's only done, what, 70? 77,000. 77,000 miles? Yes. Not kilometers, it's actually miles? Not kilometers. Not kilometers. That's that's not that many for a car that's, what, 83 to now, that's, what, 17? That's like 30-something year old. Yep. Vehicle, wow. Okay. So you got the straight six, right? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite part of this? Um, I think the appearance. I just really love old, boxy German cars. Okay. Um, and then also the off-roading capabilities, like at the uh, we took it to the Dream Cruise. And oh, okay. We were parked next to like two Lamb Lamborghinis. Uh huh. And uh, we only really got that special spot because we could pop the curb and park on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's true. Just you can drive over things. It is still a G wagon, so you have the locking diffs and everything. Yeah, the transfer um, case. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything you don't like about it? Um, the cost of the parts. Really? Um, some of the parts cost more than what we paid for the vehicle. What? Um, like what kind of things? So this hard top is actually not stock. It came with like a soft top. Okay. That you could easily just like pull down. And um, to buy like an OEM Mercedes one, it's like 5000 Holy crap. Um, but there's a company that makes them for uh, around 2000 Okay. <laughs> Which is a bargain. So. Yeah, that is. That's still like 70% <laughs> of the cost of the vehicle yeah. though. Try to talk even louder. Okay. Because the car is kind of loud. Yeah, it is pretty loud. We just uh, put a new exhaust on it, so okay. it used to be even louder. It basically oh. had, like, no exhaust. <laughs> Was it all leaky and everything? Yep. It actually, like, cut in half at one point. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so. I mean, it's a, it is a little bit rusty. Um, yeah. But to be expected. This is... So what have you done with it so far? Have you driven long... Because you said top speed's, what, like, 70? <laughs> yeah. Well... I think for this one it's 70. It was rated at around 100 okay. um, from the factory, but all the other ones are rated 70, and I think it kind of has, you know, eventually lost. led to that. Yeah. yeah. It's lost a lot of power. Okay. Um, it needs a lot of work done to the engine. It's not really running very well. Okay. Um, so probably tomorrow I'll be working on the valves and hopefully get it back up to that 100 mile an hour okay. <laughs> top speed. Gosh, I feel like 100 of this thing would be terrifying. Yeah. We're doing what, like 40? And it feels like we're doing 80. Yeah, <laughs> yeah close to 50 actually. 50, then, okay. Yeah. I find it interesting. I want, I'm going to want to compare it to like a brand new G-Wagon because I've driven a couple of G550s. <laughs> yeah. One of the things with those is like when you're doing 40 and you do this with the steering wheel, the vehicle just keeps going straight. Oh, really? That's just the way they are. <laughs> um, wow. Um, what, so other than fixing it up, getting it running, do you think you're going to do like body restoration? Or gonna, yeah. Okay. We're, we're trying to restore it to like factory, you know, like. Okay have it look like it did back in the 80s. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you said off-roading, right? You want to think it's an off-roading? Oh, yeah, definitely. That'll be sick. Yes. Um, I already did a little off-roading. They're building some houses back there. Okay. So I've gone, you know, in the dirt a bit. Okay. <laughs> it took it like a champ. Oh, There's sweet. no way I would have got stuck. So okay. It was as far as I've gone. <laughs> yeah, so background-wise, they didn't... This... 
The G Wagon, I think, was introduced in 1979. Yeah. Uh, so this is the 83. So literally the first generation of them ever, and they were never sold in America. Do you know how this ended up here? Um, they call it a gray market car, yeah. I guess. So instead of being imported through Mercedes, it was some, some from some other avenue. I don't know how like they did it, but there's there's a little plaque down here. Okay. And there's a name of the person who imported it. I think. Oh. So <laughs> you could probably call them and ask them how they did it. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know. Everything is so It is kind of noisy. Yeah. We have roll down windows. <laughs> I don't think I've been in a car with roll down windows since I was like eight. <laughs> yeah. It makes it nice because you can take the doors off with no electric harnesses. Oh, really? So. So the entire door comes off. Yeah. So it's kind of like a Wrangler. Yep. But then you lose your side view mirrors too. Also um, kind of like a Wrangler. The previous owners like fabricated some mirrors that you can hook up to the door hinge. Oh, really? So that you still have mirrors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is hilarious. Just watching it roll behind me when we're on the road, it's like, what the heck? Yeah. Let's see, what else is there? So, like, it's a lot of fun, right? Oh, yeah. Like, when we took it to the Dream Cruise, we yeah. were getting a lot of looks. Okay. A lot of other old Mercedes owners were, like, you know, giving us the thumbs uh -huh. up. And uh, there was another older Jeep Wrangler, same color, and, like, had the top off and everything, just like us. And they were so confused. They were like, what is that? What is this thing? <laughs> That's true. You never see them. Exactly. Um, did you, like, have you inventoried, like, the things that work and don't work? Like, are all the dials working and everything? Um, most of them work. The fuel gauge doesn't work. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that earlier. Yep. Yeah. So, you kind of have to guess. I, I do the trip meter every time. The okay. previous owner said it can go 80 miles on a full tank. Okay. Which seems kind of low, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you haven't, I guess... You don't know how big the tank is either. No, I We just put, what, like six gallons in? I think so. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Probably just look in the owner's manual, yeah. but I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Another crazy thing is like the whole, you know, most cars have like giant fuse boxes these days. This one has a total of 12 fuses That's for the it? whole car. Yeah. <laughs> so I have like 40, you're just like, which one is which? Yeah. Wow. So like, you can just inspect them real quick. Okay. I've blown a couple and. Oh, really? Yeah. This is, it has a head unit in there. Which, yeah, I put that in. Okay. <laughs> For playing music through, I don't know where your speakers are. So, there used to be speakers down there. Okay. And, um, well, like the there's two holes cut in here, yeah. yeah. They made like this, uh, sort of, sort of like a subwoofer enclosure right behind the rear seats. Okay. That's not factory. Okay. Um, but you kind of just put like crapshoot of speakers in there. Okay. So it looks a little ridiculous. But yeah. <laughs> and also, it sounds terrible when the seats are up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it just vibrates everything? It, it just sounds really muffled. And, oh, okay. Yeah. That's flooring it. Yep. Not fast. You won't get a speeding ticket in this thing. Oh, no. Something I love is that the door handles and the sound opening and closing yep. is still exactly the same in the new ones. It's just this <laughs> solid ka-chunk. Yep. That's awesome. And everything is vertical. Yeah. So I, I heard replacing the glass is really cheap because it's really? so simple. Really? I got simple. a little chip right there. Oh, crap. Alright, so other than that, you've spent time with it, you're gonna be fixing it up. Yeah. You now own a 1983 G Wagon. <laughs> yep. That's that's crazy. Yeah. And one cool thing is like a lot of people, since the body style is really safe, like su super similar, yeah. the whole, I mean, I think the same exactly, they'll put like the you know, aftermarket like Bravis body oh, kits really? on it and sell them for like 50000 yeah, some of these things get really expensive, like the old yeah. ones, too. Yeah, they're in really, really good condition. Yeah. I mean, literally, like, the lights and the shapes of everything looks the same. Yeah. Lift it and make it into a 4x4 square. <laughs> that would be cool. I would love to, honestly. <laughs> that would be very, very cool. Well, this has been cool. Yeah. This is what it's like to own a 1983 Jeep. When you first emailed me, I'm like, say what? <laughs> that yeah. badass. We're going to do that. <laughs> this is, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to driving it and seeing what it's like. Oh, yeah. Anything else you want to tell people about what it's like to own one of these? Um, Get it for cheap so that you can save money and buy the parts to repair Because you're going to have to spend a lot. <laughs> yep. Or just buy a Jeep. <laughs> or just buy a Jeep. Yeah, that's, a, well, that's the boring option. Yep. This is more unique. All right. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.